is Patrice Wenling speaking with Professor Gray at the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. He's just presented results from the ATOM trial on tamoxifen and extending it out 10 years. Now that we've got results from ATOM and ATLAS, which you've also reported, is this enough to change practice in women? I think the evidence is now absolutely overwhelming that taking tamoxifen for 10 years compared to 5 years would does reduce your chance of dying of breast cancer. In fact, we estimate that if you take tamoxifen for 10 years, the chance of dying of breast cancer in the next five or 10 years is going to be halved. So it's a very substantial benefit. And I think, yes, this will change practice. The evidence is already quite clear from many countries in Europe and all around the world that people are changing their practice to give tamoxifen for longer. Now though that um, aromatase inhibitors are very um, they're, they're recommended in um, women with breast cancer and tamoxifen isn't maybe used as often, are we going to see this being applicable in the United States though? The standard of care in the United States and many other countries is five years of hormonal treatment for postmenopausal women, it's recommended that aromatase inhibitors should be part of that treatment. But once they've completed five years of hormonal treatment, there's no evidence at the moment that continuing aromatase inhibitors would be a further benefit. But I think this, these data suggest that after any hormonal treatment, carrying on with tamoxifen for further five years would be a benefit. There are ongoing trials of longer versus shorter aromatase inhibitors, which would be quite a few years before they produce results, and I think you would want to know that the benefits outweigh the risks, and we can't extrapolate from tamoxifen trial to aromatase inhibitors directly. Now that we've got this definitive data, what about that large group of women who may have taken tamoxifen for five years, but have been off of it for several years? Would you want them to go back on it? Well, I think they should certainly be aware of these results and they suggest quite strongly that starting tamoxifen again would have some benefit, though we didn't look at that directly. Some of the women in these studies had been off tamoxifen for quite a few months before they restarted, so I think a small gap would certainly not make any difference. There would still be the same benefits. A large gap, my guess is yes, we don't have direct evidence.